Hey guys, what's up? So I'm here making another video tutorial. Um, this is actually a tutorial that I've been wanting to make for a long time now. Probably about two or three years, ever since I started sculpting helmets and molding them. And instead of doing the pepicura like I used to do. So this is going to be a tutorial on how to make a replica helmet. Um, and the processes here, they can really be applied to armor and other things, but it's going to be specifically for helmets because as you guys know, that's pretty much what I do now. Um, and there are other methods to making helmets, obviously I used to do Pepecura and that sort of thing and everybody's going to have their own method, so this is going to be my method and I just wanted to share it with you guys so you guys can learn how to do it and make helmets for yourself. So I'm going to try to break the video down into a couple different parts, it's going to be the sculpting part of the tutorial, the molding part of the tutorial, and then the casting part of the tutorial, and then I'll probably go ahead and put in the painting part of the tutorial and finish the helmet up just so you guys know how to do that, you know, finish raw casts. So, um, as you can see, I've already started the sculpt a little bit. I had an intro made, and I had to, I didn't like it, and I had to redo it. So, I'm redoing it now after I've already started working on the sculpt, but don't worry, because I, you know, included everything in the video, so you guys are going to see it right from the beginning. So, I'm glad to be finally making this video. I've tried to make it a couple times in the past, and they never worked out too well. And I'm really excited to make this helmet too. I think uh, I think you're gonna like this helmet. I really like the helmet already, and I uh, can't wait for the game to come out. So let's just go ahead and jump right into it and get making this helmet. All right, guys. So the first part of sculpting your helmet is obviously to just pick your helmet. So as you can see here, I am going to be sculpting the N7 helmet from the new game that's um, been announced. Uh, Mass Effect Andromeda. Uh, I love the Mass Effect series and um, I was really interested when I saw that first E3 trailer um, last year and I really liked the helmet and I was able to scrounge up these reference pictures and that's one thing you have to have is good reference pictures when you're sculpting a helmet and these aren't the best but I have um, a few here of the armor and the helmet. There's a nice side view there. So you want to have good high definition pictures of the of the helmet you want to make so that you can see every angle every detail and it's obviously easier if the game's already been released but I wanted to do this pre-release so I'm gonna work with what I have but make sure you have good reference helmets go ahead and pick your helmet and you're gonna be ready to move on to part B of sculpting your helmet alright guys so now we're ready to move on to part B of sculpting your helmet which is to set up your armature now this is my armature that you see before me. This is the base that you're going to be putting your sculpt on and you're going to be working with. So you want to get something that works for you. Now I'm going to tell you about mine and um, you can make up your mind, use my ideas, you know, make your own ideas to make your skull or your armature how you want it. So mine is just a about a one by one piece of three quarter inch plywood. Um, and then I have like a one by one stick here that I screwed into the bottom. I'll show you the bottom here. So there's the two screws in the bottom. Then I had these little brackets here just to help um, make it more sturdy. And then as you can see I've also screwed multiple different pieces of wood onto the main um, one by one stick here just to kind of bulk up the shape a little bit more. So that's what I start with when I'm sculpting my helmet. Um, this is a good size for me. Um, the stick's about a foot high and I'm, when I'm sitting in my chair here at my desk I have a good working space um, a good height that I can work on and see all the angles of the helmet I can turn my armature all the way around um, I usually put a piece of cardboard down here so the screws don't scratch at my desk too much um, but this is what I start with so then once you pick your helmet you're going to want to modify your armature to better fit the shape and the size of the helmet that you're making because every helmet is a different shape, it's a different size and you may need to change the the shape of your armature a little bit just to better fit that helmet because you don't want to just be putting clay onto this because it's going to use up like 10 pounds of clay and it's you know going to be all bulked up there and it's just going to be a waste of time and energy if you don't bulk up your armature a little bit first with other materials besides clay so what I do is first I have this piece of cardboard here that I usually just leave on there and I put that piece of cardboard just over the wood there just to kind of fill in those um, gaps up here and then I'll go from there and just add a different um, different amounts of cardboard or 
other things to kind of bulk up the shape of the armature before I start putting any clay onto the sculpt. So here's an example of one bulk up of cardboard that I did. This was for my T45D Power Armor helmet, which I don't know if you guys have seen yet, I and mean, you guys might not see it by the time this video is out, but um, that's what I used it for. And so I just sat that on the armature. If I can get it on there. So that was on the armature. And then this front piece here was on the front there. And as you can see, if you know what the T45D Power Armor looks like from Fallout, that's kind of the rough shape of the helmet. Okay, you know, it's got the the front here for the gas, uh, the gas mask part of the helmet. It's kind of a tall, flat back helmet here. And this is obviously smaller than you want your actual helmet to be because if you bulk up your armature too much with cardboard and stuff, when you start putting the clay on and you start, start sculpting and you're digging out pieces of clay with your tools, you're going to start running into your armature and then that's going to mess up your helmet because you're going to have to cut out areas and make your armature smaller and it's just a pain in the butt, which I actually did run into with this helmet here. So I, I don't usually like to do this um, too much, but I wanted to make sure the helmet was big enough to fit more people and also uh, wanted to make sure that I wasn't having to use like tons of clay because I was worried I was going to run out. So that's kind of another consideration to take into account is how much clay you're going to need. And I'll kind of talk a little bit more about the types of clay and stuff that you're going to want to use later on. But um, I honestly don't know how much clay I have. Um, I buy them in these like two pound bricks. And, uh, you know, I'm sure different different clay comes in different, uh, you know, amounts. But this type of clay, it comes in the two pound bricks. And I have them in these bags on the plastic plates. And I have about four platefuls of them. Uh, the other three are a little bit smaller than this. So it's probably like six to eight pounds maybe that's a rough guess um, you can you want to buy more than you need that way you don't have to you know be waiting on more clay to continue your sculpt um, and it always takes more to put your clay on and bulk up the shape first and then you're gonna be carving more off so you're gonna have leftovers but um, just get more than you need because you can always save it if you buy the oil based clay so anyways I'll talk about that in a little bit um, so for this helmet um, I'm actually gonna use my old um, first NCR Ranger helmet and I'm gonna stick that on here on my armature and I'm gonna put some screws in the top to hold it in there good raise it up a little bit and then I'm gonna hot glue some pieces of cardboard in the open areas here you can say I cut off the front and the, uh, the side of the gas mask there and uh, the piece on the side there because if you look at this helmet and look at the N7 helmet they're a rough roughly the same shape you know you have the nice rounded top like this one does and you don't have anything weird sticking out on the sides anymore and like that one does and if you go to the profile shot here you can see it just comes you know pretty much straight rounded from the front and then straight down and so this one you know does pretty much the same thing so this is a perfect um, base for me to start putting clay onto that way I don't have to use tons of clay and I already got like a real rough shape of the helmet and it just makes sculpting a lot easier if your armature is already kind of similar to the helmet you're going to be making in shape now obviously like I said this is quite a bit smaller than the actual helmet you know so I'll bulk up the clay you know an inch or so thick around it um, you know depending on the shapes and everything but so that's your armature um, it's pretty much personal preference now there are you know pre-made armatures you can buy um, you could buy those foam heads um, that might be a good idea you know and I have thought about getting one of those um, if obviously you don't have a helmet already made to use um, but uh, just pick something that works for you get a nice base and then you can modify it to fit the helmet you're gonna make and I just want to talk briefly about the workspace um, this is my desk in my room you want a nice big um, sturdy area you can put your armature and your sculpt on you want to have your reference pictures close at hand. You want lots of light. I have a light here. I got my windows here. And I'm actually working on getting another light to put above me so I, um, I can see better. And so you guys can see better in this video. And um, I also like to have some music in the background just to help me work. So that's that. And we'll go ahead and move on to part C. Alright guys, so part C of making your sculpt is to pick your clay type. Now... 
There are two main types of clay and there's water based and there's oil based. I highly recommend you use oil based because you can reuse it all the time and you don't have to keep it wet because um, water based clay you have to keep spraying water on it and you know if you leave it out for like a couple hours you know you have to cover it up or else it's going to dry out. So the oil based clay that I use, uh, the Chevant, uh, sold for free. I've reused this clay for like two or three years now and um, it's fine. It still works good. I've sculpted over, I mean, I've sculpted with it multiple times. I've made molds out of, you know, out of the helmets multiple times and the clay just keeps on working. So that's what I recommend. Um, so here's another um, type of clay that I've tried. It's a uh, plastiline by Van Aken. Um, this is another oil based clay. The reason I don't use this is because it's really soft even at room temperature. Um, you know, you can manipulate it pretty well, which is nice when you're putting you're putting your clay on and you're bulking up your helmet. But when you go to start carving details, um, it just makes it a lot di more difficult to keep the nice sharp edges on your details and get everything nice and clean. And um, so that's why I use the Chevant NSP Medium Clay. Um, this is the medium hardness, like I said before. Um, they had the soft and the hard in this, and the soft I found was it's harder than the uh, Van Aken, but it's still not hard enough for me. Because once you start working with the clay, it's going to heat up even more by the by your fingers and your hands, and that's going to make it even more soft. So I use the medium. So another thing you want to keep in in mind is the compatibility between the clay you're going to use and the silicone you're going to use. Now I'll talk a little bit more about the silicone later on in uh, the molding part of the tutorial. But, um, long story short, um, I liked this clay, and it says it's sold for free, which I was supposed to use for the silicone that I used to use, uh, the Rebound 25, I believe it was called, it was that, it was that orange silicone you guys might have seen me use, um, in my old, old videos, but even though this is sold for free, it still, the silicone would not cure properly. And so you'd put it on the sculpt and let it sit and it would never cure up, it would never harden. And you would touch it and it would just be gooey and sticky. And you're not obviously going to be able to pull any cast that way. So I had to switch silicones to the Mold Max Stroke, which is a different cure silicone. Um, and that works just fine with this clay. So just make sure you do a few test runs first um, with the different clays you're using and the different silicones um, if you're going to use something else besides what I use just to make sure they're compatible and your silicone will cure over your sculpt. So that's all the clay choice really comes down to is just personal preference and making sure that it's going to be compatible with your silicone. Alright guys so now it's time to move on to part D of the sculpt and part D is the clay bulk up. So basically after you have your armature all done you can see mine is I've got all my uh, my helmet all put in there. I got all the cardboard bulked in. It's nice and sturdy, and got that nice rough shape of the helmet I'm going for. So once you get to that point, then you can go ahead and start bulking up your clay. So what I do is I'll take my clay and like you like I said, my clay comes in this uh, these two pound bricks, and they're really hard to work with when they're like that at room temperature. So I like to take a knife or something, and I'll just carve off little hunks of it. Um, and this is actually, I just tore these off of an old sculpt that I did. Um, but it's the same principle if you're working directly from a brick, you know, a new brick. Um, so you just pile that up into a paper plate, you know, just a good amount in there, good enough to work with. And then what I'll do is I'll stick it in the microwave and heat it up for a few minutes. Um, because even, even in small pieces like this, they're really hard to, to manipulate. And what you want to do right now is get a lot of clay onto your sculpt at one time and rather quickly and just rough out the basic rough shape of the helmet. So stick the plate of clay in the microwave for about a minute or so. Be careful because you can get burned if you put it in there too long and some of the stuff at the bottom will get up, will get more hot and uh, you don't want to heat it up too much and completely melt it. Just get it to a nice uh, workable um, state and then just start smacking it on the sculpt onto the armature. So I'm gonna go heat my clay up and I'm gonna try to film me putting um, some clay on here. Now I wanted to do some time lapse for this video and uh, for the other videos in this tutorial series um, but I don't have a good camera right now. I'm having to use my phone so I may be getting a new camera um, pretty soon. 
Um, but right now I'm going to try it on my phone and see how it works. If it doesn't work, like if it's terrible, then I won't even put it on the video and I'll figure something else out. Um, but regardless, I'll show you guys in a little bit of what I'm doing here. Alright guys, so I got my clay heated up and as you can see it's kind of melted down at the bottom. Kind of like what I told you about, but the top parts are real nice and soft. And so all I'm going to do is start slapping on some clay. So choose use my thumbs usually and you want to kind of smear them in a little bit so they stick um, the clay sticks better to itself than it does to like cardboard and stuff but you can pretty well get the first first layer on it's a little difficult to do with one hand but I wanted to show you guys kind of what I was talking about and then maybe I'll try some time lapse so basically you just want to cover everything in some clay doesn't have to be smooth or anything right now just uh, smear it on there, get it on the helmet, and you want to work kind of quickly because um, it doesn't take long for the clay to cool back down to where you can't really work with it too well, because it is a pain to try to put on when it's cold and when it's hard. What I'll kind of do is usually take a piece, if it's a bigger piece, press it in the middle a little bit to get it to kind of stick like that, and then I'll smear down the edges and just kind of blend them into another piece if I have another piece next to it. And then I'll do the same thing with the next one. Just push it down in the middle and blend it in a little up and down the edges there just to kind of get it to stick real nice so you have a good foundation for your other clay to go on top of. Okay, so you guys kind of get the general idea, I think. Um, you just take in your little chunks of heated up clay, and you just stick them on your helmet, smearing them on, getting a nice um, covering of clay all over your armature, and um, just bulking out the rough shape, the rough size of your helmet. So I'm going to continue doing this, and then we can move on to part E. Alright guys, so I just wanted to stop for a minute here and kind of talk a little bit about my process. Um, 
So uh, I think the stop the uh, time lapse uh, video is working pretty well. So I think I'm gonna include that. So um, if I do, you've probably been watching that that section, and you can see I've roughed out the uh, the shape of the helmet pretty nice here. I still got a little ways to go. Um, you just kind of check out the reference picture there and kind of see where I'm at. Um, but basically, I'm at the point right now where I'm going to um, start taking a little bit of clay back off. Not much, because um, like I said, I still need to add more on and still rough out the uh, the shape some more before I get too heavy into actually sculpting and carving out the details. But um, I like to take this old plastic ruler I have right here. Um, I used to have a metal one, um, and they work just fine as long as you can you can flex it a little bit. Um, and what I'll do is I'll just take it and kind of curve it to the helmet and just drag it along a couple times across the sculpt and you can see it just kind of peels up a real thin layer of clay and um, what that does is just kind of smooth down your your surface of your helmet uh, you kind of see there in the, the shadow um, it just kind of smooths down the surface get you like a more even um, layer and by doing this I can kind of even out the sculpt and see where I'm at see where I need to add some more and then also what I'll do when I get to a certain point um, like that is I'll take um, my needle tool and I'll kind of look at look at my reference picture and look at my sculpt try to get them lined up about the same same angle and then I'll start kind of drawing in you know like the rough shapes so I'm just doing this just for the just for uh, example um, but you know maybe I'll draw out the line of the visor there just kind of rough that out just about where I think it's gonna be it didn't have to be perfect yet this is just for um, the sake of you know roughing out the, the design of the helmet okay so it's like maybe I have sorry I don't know if I was showing that on the camera but um so there's about maybe the rough the rough uh, you know line, outline of the visor and I can see oh, okay I need to add some more clay on the sides over here um, bulk up that shape and oh, okay maybe I can take a little bit down on the side maybe I can take a little bit more off the uh, the lower corners of the chin here you know and that sort of thing so that's that's basically what I'm doing right now and I'll I'll do some more time lapse and uh, show you kind of what I'm doing there but um, this is where you just need to start um, trying to refine the shape a little bit more as you start putting on clay and as you're finishing out roughing out the shape just kind of keep an eye on the uh, the shape of the helmet and make sure you're bulking up clay in the right areas and maybe leaking leaving clay off you know certain areas that are a little bit smaller you know where it's necessary so just wanted to tell you guys about that and uh, I'll continue on Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and stop this part of the video here. I was hoping I'd be able to finish the entire sculpting um, part of the tutorial and put it into one video, but I'm already at like 20 minutes or so, so I decided to just go ahead and break it into two parts. I mean, this is a pretty good stopping point. I um, mean, you know, I'm basically at the point where I can really start carving out some details. You know, I'm still bulking up the, the shape a little bit, as you can see, but, you know, at this point, you're going to want to head you're going to want to go ahead and start taking some clay back off and trying to refine your shape. Now this, I'm going to say, is probably the most tedious and the hardest um, part of the sculpt because when you start out with something like this, you know, just a real rough shape, it's kind of hard to see the helmet um, and it's kind of hard to get the, the shape of the helmet built up. But I feel like, you know, once I get past a certain point of doing that, then I'm okay and I can 
really get down to making to refining the shapes really well and getting symmetry down and getting details down and all that kind of stuff which I'll talk about later but um so you know if you think you're having a hard time just keep pushing through and you know just gotta remember it's always clay you can always take more off or you can always take it off and you can always add more so that's how I look at it so I guess that's it for now um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and upload this video I mean why not and hopefully within the next couple couple of days maybe like a week or so I'll be able to continue working on this sculpt and get the uh, the rest of the sculpt done and put make the video for it and put it up on YouTube for you guys so yeah thanks for watching